Well, a tradition continues this week at the Montana Expo Park, horse racing. MTN's Jason Laird hit up the stable and brings us the story of one family who's made the sports a part of their life. Over the years, horse racing in Montana has become a bit more sparse, but in Great Falls, the sport is still alive and kicking. And although the hats may not be as extravagant as what you might see at the Kentucky Derby, the excitement and passion is just as comparable. The West family from Lethbridge, Canada, has been involved with the sport for quite some time now and can give us an idea of what it's like from a horseman's perspective. You're on a, a roller coaster. One minute you're it at is. the top and the next minute you're at the bottom. At so, the bottom. And it's not just the nail-biting action of betting on your favorite horse that keeps the money flowing. The economic impact of the Great Falls community is also something to consider. When you first roll into town, I know uh, my pocketbook got a lot lighter and we hadn't even really started doing anything. You're buying hay, you're buying straw, you're buying oats. I think a lot of people forget about that part of it. And just another aspect that most folks don't see from the grandstands is a group of people more like a family lending a helping hand to each other wherever it's needed. Now shortly before the races were scheduled to start, the truck that's needed for the starting gate actually broke down and without missing a beat, the West family stepped up to help. We needed something to make the races go so um, had to help everyone out and the horsemen and the turf the club and grab the keys and tossed them over and we kept on going. This is what I do for my holidays. I come and work. He but comes and supervises it, and makes sure that I'm running everything good. <laughs> it's the an boss. enjoyable place. Um, turf club makes it fun to come and yeah. they look after the horsemen, so yeah. why not? In Gray Falls, I'm Jason Laird. MTN News. In case you missed out last weekend, you can catch the races again this Saturday and Sunday. Races get underway at 1 o'clock.